Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I am so glad that you are here. In this video, we are going to do some practice, some math practice, specifically focusing on mean, median, mode, and range. Now, before you go any further, two things. Number one, make sure that you click down below for the free PDF worksheet. You want to do this so that you can follow along the video with me and there are extra problems that you can practice completely for free. Second, if you haven't already watched my full video on mean median mode where I use your statistical data talking about donuts, how many donuts you buy at the donut shop, you want to make sure that you watch that video because it will help you with some of the trickier problems regarding mean, median, and mode. All right, here we have sequence number one. Four, six, seven, eight, and nine. What is the mean of the sequence? So mean, as a reminder, is just going to be the average. So I'm gonna add up my numbers. Four plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine. And I add up all the numbers. Again, using your calculator is really helpful at this point. And I get 34. Now, to solve for the mean, I have to count how many numbers there are. So I have one, two, three, four, five numbers total. So I'm going to take 34 and divide that number by five, and I am left with 6.8. So here we go, B is our answer. I have the same sequence of numbers, and this time I need to find out what the median is. So lucky for you and for me, I have all of my numbers in order from least to largest, okay? So here, starting with four to nine, the median is really just going to be that middle number, which is seven. Now, as you can see, I have an odd number, and so it's really easy to calculate that middle number. If you haven't already watched my mean median mode video with donuts, do it and then you can learn how to solve for that middle number if there are an even number. So seven is my answer. Now we have the mode and the mode is the number that happens most often. Now, as you can see here, there are no numbers that are repeating themselves. And so that really just means there is no mode in this sequence. What is the range? Okay, so again, it's really important to have your numbers from largest to smallest or smallest to largest, okay? So I'm looking at two numbers. I have my four and I have my nine. So to find the range, I'm really just going to go nine minus four, which is five. So my answer is five. The difference between the largest and smallest is five. Sequence number two, in the free PDF, there are actually five sequences, so you can really get a chance to practice up. All right, what is the mean of the sequence? Again, I'm going to add up all of my numbers together. So I'm going to go five plus five plus five plus seven plus eight plus eight plus nine, and what do I get? 47. Now, how many numbers are there total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven numbers, so I'm going to take 47, divide that by seven, and I get 6.71. And here we go, B is my answer. That is the mean or the average of this sequence. Okay, what is the median of the sequence? Again, line the numbers up in a row, and we're looking for that middle number. Okay, so I'm going to take, here we have three over here, the three smallest, the three largest, and I'm left with that middle one, which is seven, and that's my answer. Again, make sure you know how to do it if there are even numbers, because it's a little bit different. What is the mode? All right, so notice here how five happens three times, seven happens once, eight happens twice, and nine happens once. So I know that the mode here is going to be five, because five happens three times. What is the range of the sequence? So I take my largest, which is nine, minus my smallest, which is five, and I get four. So the difference between nine and five is four. So four is going to be the range of this sequence. 
friends, we made it to the end. Thank you for sticking along. Comment down below and tell me that you stuck until the end because you are purely persistent. And if you haven't already, click the link down below because you can still practice with more math problems that I've come up with. By the end, you're going to be a master with mean, median, mode, and range. My friends, have a beautiful day. Know that I believe in you and make sure that you believe in yourself too and that you are purely persistent. <laughs> Peace and God bless.